with imminent release of its first full-color photos and spectroscopic data, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, a collaboration with the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency, will shortly unveil unparalleled and comprehensive views of the cosmos. In this video, I'll show you a list of cosmic objects that Webb targeted for these initial observations, which will be revealed on NASA's live webcast on Tuesday, July 12, at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. The listed targets reflect the observatory's first wave of full-color scientific photos and spectra, as well as the formal start of Webb's general science activities, an international committee including members from NASA, ESA, CSA, and the Space Telescope Science Institute chose them. Carina Nebula The Carina Nebula is one of the largest and brightest nebulae in the sky, located approximately 7,600 light-years away from the southern constellation of Carina. Nebulae are stellar nurseries where stars form. The Carina Nebula is home to many massive stars, several times larger than the Sun. WASP-96b Spectrum WASP-96b is a giant planet outside our solar system, composed mainly of gas. The planet, located nearly 1,150 light-years away from Earth, orbits its star every 3.4 days. It has about half the mass of Jupiter, and its discovery was announced in 2014. Southern Ring Nebula the Southern Ring, or Eight-Burst Nebula, is a planetary nebula, an expanding cloud of gas surrounding a dying star. It is nearly half a light-year in diameter, and is located approximately 2,000 light-years away from Earth. Stefan's Quintet About 290 million light-years away, Stefan's Quintet is located in the constellation Pegasus. It is notable for being the first compact galaxy group ever discovered in 1877. Four out of the five galaxies within the quintet are locked in a cosmic dance of repeated close encounters. SMAC 0723 Massive foreground galaxy clusters magnify and distort the light of objects behind them, permitting a deep field of view into both extremely distant and intrinsically faint galaxy populations. The release of these first images marks the official beginning of Webb's science operations, which will continue to explore the mission's key science themes. Teams have already applied through a competitive process for time to use the telescope in what astronomers call its first cycle, or first year of observations. If you want to learn more about the James Webb Space Telescope and stay up to date, subscribe to the channel to receive our daily updates. Thanks for watching.